a big turnout at the Fargo Theater recently as Common Ground North Dakota sponsored a documentary about food and for some, fears that go along with it. The film focuses on the controversy over genetically modified food. The survival of our species has always depended on advances in agriculture. The film Food Evolution is about how misinformation can overwhelm objective analysis. It brings up questions about how we ensure our food supply is safe and how we feed the world while protecting the planet. It also talks about GMO foods and if they are safe. We didn't have like a specific invitation list or anything like that. We just wanted people to come and enjoy themselves. Val Wagner is the coordinator for Common Ground North Dakota. She says the film is a way to get conversations started about food and give people the ability to be heard. What are we doing to get the scientists to come up with the best information possible? More than 100 people attended the film, which was free and open to the public. I was so impressed, not only with um, people that I knew were part of the agriculture community, but also people who you know, may not be familiar with agriculture were here. So it was just great to see such an eclectic crowd. It scientifically has been proven solid. Robert Farabee is a farmer and rancher from Halliday, North Dakota. He made the trek to Fargo to watch the film. I wanted to see the other side of the coin because if we don't see what, who, we're, who we're growing food for, it's very difficult to grow food for that person. And although we don't eat everything on our farm, I'm not scared to eat anything on our farm. Eric Jacobson lives in Fargo. He says the event had a pro-ag and pro-GMO feel. I thought everything was exhibited in a very scientific and um, fact-based way. I have a kind of unique perspective, so I grew up on a farm, but I work in medical research now. And I think a big thing that the anti-GMO side might miss is that with GMOs, you still need to use the pesticides, but without GMOs, you're using more pesticides and more harmful pesticides. The film was followed by a Q&A session with panelists made up of farmers and ag scientists from NDSU. My hope is that tonight we were able to make some connections so that people, if they continue to have more questions, they know who they can go to.